come on into the ditch. I'm your resident ditch witch, Tara Tyne, and we are about to get witchy, whether you like it or not. We've just returned from taking some footage of the rock art at Dromiral or Deer Park, just south of Inneskeen village. I had a lot of stuff that I wanted to say, but it was way, way too windy to shoot. It was, uh, it felt like gale force winds while we were up there. So I got the footage, did my best to capture it. I'm going to just show it to you now with some uh, voiceovers over the top of it. Uh, I figured it was the best way to do it. So let's have a look at that now and see what we can find. I want to take a quick moment here to thank the owner of the land where the rock art is located and to relay a message from her to those who may be thinking of visiting. The land is private and is used for agricultural purposes. Any incursion onto the land without her knowledge or express permission will be considered trespassing. The reason for my being given access to this site was so that I could upload this footage to YouTube where it's available for all to view without disturbing the site itself. And in my personal opinion, it honestly wouldn't be worth visiting unless you've done enough research to pinpoint exactly where amongst the 70 plus acres of fields each of the isolated outcrops is located. So without further ado, let's get into it. This first mound contains four of the clearest and most visually iconic of the 30 odd panels here on the Louth Monaghan border. It was excavated by the late Dr. Blaise O'Connor and her team in 2003. In her writings on the site and its various artifacts, she recommends strongly that further investigations be carried out in the area, since early and middle Neolithic pottery fragments were recovered, along with a pit lined with quartz cobbles and containing flint and cremated bone, meaning we have evidence of activity in this area from up to 6,000 years ago. The petroglyphs featured here are predominantly what's referred to as cup and ring marks, although there is a rare and stunning example of a seven ring concentric circle pattern in this first outcrop. Honestly, the patterns are really difficult to make out in most cases, so to an untrained eye like mine, it was nearly impossible to discern between features of erosion and actual intentional carvings, especially knowing that carvings were often integrated with existing features in the rock. So I've done my best here to capture the ones that I felt to be carved and I had checked them off against the GPS coordinates that I'd found. Please don't at me if I'm wrong, I'm doing my best here. Along with other examples of cup and ring marks and megalithic art in the area, the Dromiral concentration is one of the most prolific in Ireland. The style known as Atlantic rock art and also referred to as Galician rock art is often found along ancient routeways, such as the ancient route southwest Tara from Dundalk, as I believe likely existed somewhere around this area. In Britain in particular, there seems to be a common pattern of associations made with certain topographical features, such as valleys, water sources, or high ground. Although those associations can't be similarly applied across the board in Ireland. However, Irish examples do often come with really nice views, just like the ones in Britain. Since the study of ancient rock art in Ireland and Britain is still embryonic, it's not definitively clear what the exact nature of such prehistoric art might be. But in her 2006 paper, Inscribed Landscapes, Dr. O'Connor explores a suggestion by Michael Rowlands in his 1993 article entitled The Role of Memory in the Transmission of Culture, that creative interaction with these sites may have played a role in both remembering and laying to rest the memory of those who have passed on before. The repetition of pattern is perhaps like ripples in the tide, a long-lasting and constant reminder of the lives and deaths which have occurred within this landscape. Lost the long hours of pleasure, all the women that love young men. Oh, can I still stroke the monster's back or write with unpoisoned pen his name in these lonely verses? Or mention the dark fields where the first gay flight of my lyric got caught in a peasant's prayer. Mullahincha, Dromiral, Black Shanko, 
Wherever I turn, I see in the stony grey soil of Monaghan dead loves that were born for me. So I hope you enjoyed this look at the ancient landscape of Enniskeen village. Hit subscribe for more fun and witchy adventures. I upload every Thursday and usually on a Monday or a Tuesday as well. And you're not going to want to miss it. Slow and August Bannock, goodbye and good luck to you. If you would like to support the maintenance and upgrade of this channel, you can visit my Buy Me A Coffee page, the link's in the description below, and you can donate there. I greatly appreciate all donations and support received to the channel. Since my work is as yet unpaid and is in fact still costing me money, thank you again also to all of my regular viewers for tuning in, liking, sharing and commenting. This is all a massive help to the channel and to me as well. Gaurav Mila Mahagiv.